Hi guys! So today I decided to uh, give you a little bit of an insight into my skincare routine. Um, this is going to be the one I would do just every morning really. It's not going to include any exfoliation or masks because I will do another video on that. So in the morning when I get up and I actually have woke up after having a couple of cups of tea. I like to go into the bathroom and grab my Lush Cosmetics. It's the mint julep scrub, the lip scrub, sorry. This is so beautiful and so gentle on my lips, but it really does a good job and it actually tastes fantastic, so it's a great bonus. So I just gently work that in, concentrating on the areas where I feel my lips would be drier so that would be around this middle bit of the top lip. I've always had a dry patch there for some reason. Goodness knows. So yeah, just gently work that in. And then when I'm finished, just grab a little cotton pad and dump it in. And then I like, I like to just wipe my mouth because I don't want the hot hole in the cleanser so on to cleansing I use the uh, Garnier Micellar just as a wee bit of a pre-cleanse so I just grab a just a little cotton pad and sweep it over my skin just as a just as a pre-cleanse to grab anything off and then because of the cleanser I'm using at the minute I will pat dry my skin normally if I'm using my laser oil I would just go on ahead and use it but at the minute I'm using the Philosophy Purity Simple it's a one step facial cleanser, cleanser. it's slightly scented so it's not going to be for everyone but as I say, I do use the Lizard Cleanse and Polish 9 days out of 10, but I've ran out at the minute. I'm still waiting on my order coming. So I just grab just a wee bit of that on my fingers and dab it over my face. If you're wondering why I'm looking down here, there's my little mirror. Just dab it around. Rub anything more that's on your fingers and start working it in in circular motions. I like to take it down the jawline a bit because I find my jawline could get breakouts quite easily when I'm blending down my makeup. So just work it all in nice and gently. This isn't a cleanser that I would use over my eyes. Um, the laser oil cleanse and polish, I can just literally wipe it over my eyes and I would not have a reaction but this is quite scented so I don't honestly think I would like to do that so the next thing I do is just grab it's a muslin cloth it's one of the ones that Liz, Liz Earl sends with the cleanse and polish so I just dump in that down with a wee bit of lukewarm water and squeegee it out until it's nearly dry. I like to cut the cloth into, not cut it, but fold it into four bits. And I use a quarter then on each like quadrant of my face. Just, it was actually a tip I learned from another YouTuber. Um, so you're not getting any dirty cleanser or dirty cloth over any new bits of your skin. So just begin with this top right probably left on the screen. I just wipe it gently and round and then I'll flip it over to the next quadrant. You don't have to do it this way but this is just a way that I've learned and it's worked for me. So then I'll open it out and take the next quarter and just gently and take it down over the chin 
and then take the next final quadrant and back over. And if you want to repeat this step, you can, but I don't use crazy amounts of the cleanser, so one one does it for me. I just pat my skin. Be careful not to rub at your skin because you don't want to drag anything, you don't want to hurt your skin. So my skin at the minute is oily combination, but uh, sometimes I get wee dry patches just round here in my chin, my chin, <laughs> my cheeks. So I was recommended the Clinique, uh, the clarifying toner. This was actually part of a three step trial that I was given. Um, in all honesty, I didn't get on with the the wee moisturiser that came with it. It just didn't work well with my skin, so. But this isn't bad. I just take a wee tiny nip of this on a dry cotton pad and I'll just sweep that over the dry bits that I feel could do with a wee bit of help. So just there. And at the minute, down around there. So yeah, I'll give that just a wee second. And then the next steps really are up to yourself. If you use an eye cream then at this stage I use my eye cream. Some people might not bother, some people might put it on afterwards. It just depends on what's going to work for you. So I was sent this by a really good friend, Dave of mine, um, to try. And it's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. And I must admit, this is absolutely fantastic. It's quite expensive if you're if you're going to buy it, but in all honesty, I'd be repurchasing it. There's no doubt about it. So I just take a tiny little pump. One is more than enough on my ring finger, and then I'll just go in lightly and pat it round and pat it round and then just gently pat it in some people take it right up and over the eye but I don't to be fair okay so this eye just gently be careful not to drag the area around the eye because it is so sensitive okay so I just let that sit for a couple of seconds and then I am using a serum below my moisturiser at the minute because it's coming into the winter and I just need to give my skin an extra wee boost. So I'm absolutely in love with this Clarins. It's the Multi Hydrant Intensive Serum, the Biphase one. It, it wasn't a brand that I would ever think about but it was actually recommended to me and I went in and got it and in all honesty it's really good. The consistency of it is very very watery. When I first pumped it out it was complete water and I thought oh my goodness there's something wrong with this. But no it's grand. So I just take a couple of wee pumps. Just dot it over. So two pumps will be grand. And then just gently again. I like to concentrate on the dry areas, like my nose would get quite flaky. My forehead is an absolute nightmare. Excuse me, it'll be oily, but it'll be flaky just right up there at the top. So if anybody has any suggestions of anything, let me know in the comments bar because I have spent an absolute fortune trying to deal with my forehead. <laughs> So my moisturiser of choice at the minute in the morning is the Kayla's Ultra Facial Gel Hydrant. It's an oil free one which was recommended to me again because of the oiliness in the T-zone. Um, sometimes I would use this on the T-zone and then the Clinique Intense, Intense Moisture Surge, Intense Hydro Surge on the cheeks. So I would, again, the drier bits. But I'm finding at the minute, this is grand. So 
this is a bit of a strange consistency too. It's um, it's like a gel, oil jelly. So I just dot that again around the skin, just a tiny bit more, and then. And you get quite a big tub for your money in this. This is a 125ml tub. Um, it's not the cheapest of products to buy, but I really like it. And personally, I feel if you spend more in skincare, you can't get away with maybe a cheaper makeup then. So then I'll just go ahead on in and rub this in. If I'm not going anywhere, like straight away or don't have to put my makeup on straight away after I put my moisturiser on I won't rub it in as much I'll just let it sink in but unfortunately today I need to get dressed <laughs> straight afterwards so that's me all sorted so yeah that was my morning routine if any of you want any information on any of the products, I let them, yeah, I'll link them down below actually. Um, you can get most of them in department stores or, yeah, but Space NK websites. So I'll link them down below. I will do a night video as well. There's not much different at night time if I'm honest. Um, I will use a mask twice a week and at night time I use the simple it's a daily exfoliating wash I just find it's so so gentle I can use it daily so yeah all that is left now is to go and grab my Elizabeth Arden AR cream and slather that on my lips and I will check in with you guys later thanks for watching and if you like this video hit the subscribe button down here and look out for some more videos. Bye!